Greetings, heroes, and welcome to day four of our Finish Strong approach to the end of the year. So glad you have joined us. So I want to start with a quote, and this is from the 12-week year. We mistakenly believe that there's a lot of time left in the year, and we act accordingly. We lack a sense of urgency, not realizing that every week is important. Every day is important. Every moment is important. Ultimately, effective execution happens daily and weekly. And so that's going to be the focus for the last quarter of the year in our program. So this is what the process has looked like this week. Monday, we did your long-term, your five-year goals. Tuesday, we worked on yearly goals. Wednesday, yesterday, we broke that down into what you want to accomplish in this quarter. So it might be uh, one quarter of what you want your perfect year to be, or it could be what you need to make up. So in my case, what I need to make up in my gross um, income, my gross commissions. So today we are going to look at how does that break down weekly? And then tomorrow we're going to look at daily execution. What do you need to execute every damn day in order to make this the best 12-week year and probably the best year you've ever had? So this is how we're going to break it down. You're going to take your maximum of three goals. And I want to be very clear. You might say, I only want to focus on one thing. I only want to focus on my income or I only want to focus on fitness or whatever your passion is. You don't have to have three goals, but max three goals. You're going to create a sheet and you're going to put down your 12 weeks and then you're going to start filling in what you need each week to look at. So let's say that your goal is to earn $50,000 in gross commissions by the end of the year, you just need to take that 50,000 and divide it by 12. And that's going to give you your weekly target. So as you go each week, you know, okay, my number this week is whatever amount of money. So, you know, um, uh, that's, that's how we're going to break it up. And, um, this is basically how we're going to do it. Now, there are a couple different ways that we can do your goals. You're going to create a, a grid like that, or, you know, you can do a, a box for each week, however you want to do it. But in each week, you need to write out what your accomplishment, this is it, it, right now, it's going to be your trailing indicator or one of them, what that might be. So it might be to lose one pound a week. Uh, it might be one twelfth of your target income. It could be, um, you know, it's a little bit harder to measure if it's a relationship goal. It could be, you know, I'm going to read 10 chapters of the Bible, whatever it is. It could be linear or it could be geometric. So, for example, if you're working out, maybe you literally are going to start with one push up a week and then two, four, eight, 16, 32. If you did that, by the time you were done with the 12 week year, you would be doing 2,048 push ups a week. So it ramps up really quickly. So you need to figure out what that slope is going to look like and specifically what can you measure each week. So we had one of our heroes say that he wants to have a much better relationship with his girlfriend. Well, how do you measure that? Do you interview her and ask her to rate you? Maybe. Or maybe you guys take a relationship survey together and, and talk to your coach if you want one of those. And you guys, you know, either search for one online or ask us to help you with one. And you take a survey now and either each week you take that survey or definitely at the end you want to take that survey and see how you've progressed. So I'm going to turn it over to your coaches now to let you take some time to work out what you need to accomplish at the end of each week and how you're going to divide it up. And then tomorrow we'll work on what your daily action needs to be to hit those weekly goals. All right, turn it over to your coaches now, and we will talk to you guys soon.